Good morning. My name is Andy White, and I'm a principal agronomist with BASF, and I work in cotton, evaluating cotton varieties in Mississippi, Louisiana, Southeast Arkansas, and North Alabama. Today, I wanted to talk to you about two varieties that we advanced last year out of our APT program, where we look at new varieties and decide whether they have a fit in our geography and whether they would be a good fit on a grower's farm. The first one that I want to talk about is Stoneville 4993 V3XL. If you're familiar with this variety, it's very similar to Stoneville 4990 V3XL. The biggest difference being that it is tolerant to bacterial blight. If you like 4990, then you would like 4993 if you have a bacterial blight problem. Uh, it fits in just about everywhere that 4990 fits. Uh, as, as far as growth regulators, you would manage it just like you would Stoneville 4990s. It's not a very aggressive grower. And last year in the Mississippi State OVT trials, Stoneville 4993 was the number one variety when you looked at all of the varieties that were tolerant to bacterial blight. I think it has a good fit on those fields. Another variety we introduced last year was Stoneville 5091 B3XL. This variety I am very excited about. The number one reason is because of its yield. This variety out yielded Stoneville 4990 B3XL in most of the trials that I had across the mid south. It's a very aggressive growing plant, but I think it'll fit in any situation. If you put it on your higher fertility soils, just be aware that you need to be on top of this variety with the growth regulators. Another thing about this variety is that it starts fruiting very early. This year, I noticed in a lot of my plots that across all the varieties, they seem to start fruiting on about the eighth node, whereas Stoneville 5091 started fruiting on about the fifth node, and I think that's giving it another boost in yield. One thing about this variety also in terms of fiber is it has a very low micronator. I don't think you'll ever get in trouble with high mite. However, if it had higher mite, I think we'd even have higher yields. And I encourage you to try this variety. I think you'll be very, very